Guys, how are we? So, you know what? It's going to be another beer review. Uh, but I've had a double brew day today, so I'm just ready for this now. It, my ale is literally just cooling down now in the Browmeister. It's recirculated with a jacket on. Um, but we'll talk more about that in a couple of weeks, probably though, when I review it. Um, Raggy, we all know Raggy from Raggy's Beer Spirits and Wines Reviews. Did I say that right? I don't know. Um, but somewhere along those lines, we all know that. Um, I had the pleasure of meeting up with this fine gentleman. Uh, I think the last month at the Nottinghamshire Craft Beer Festival. I was actually working there on the Magpie stand, uh, obviously the brewery I work for. Um, and I think I looked after him with quite a few drinks. Uh, but yeah, become good friends now. Speaking a lot um, over Messenger and stuff like that. And he got in touch with me, just basically say, you know, I've got a raggish beer for you. Obviously, he knocked you up at Lincoln Green, um, just in the neighbouring town to me in Hucknall. Um, I'm in Kimberley, there's in Hucknall, literally just a fair few miles down Wapnall Road, separates us, and that's it. But anyway, God bless the man, he actually come round to my house in the week to drop this off. Um, and we did a little bit of beer swap as well. He gave me some, some naughty Imperial Stout, so I think I'm going to do one of them tonight to be fair. And I just pawned them off with a couple of um, session ales. But anyway, that's it. The guy's made it, Auntie. It? It's like a local celebrity now. Um, but it is a golden, ragged golden ale by Lincoln Green. It's 3.8%. Cracking picture. They've literally nailed that. Um, so we'll pop it up, see what it's all about. And then we'll just basically run a bit more about on the bottle. And I'll link down to Ragged's channel below. Not like he needs any new subscribers, Mr. Big 2000. Urban Chicken Ale. Uh, Darren, kind of sponsors this pop of top. So, that's it. Got a nice little hiss there. And the aroma. It's been in the fridge for me, this house, for a good about three, three days now. So it's lovely and cold, proper ready for it. On the aroma, a little bit of toasty nose, a lot of bit of bready, etc. Bang it in a magpie glass. A bit naughty of me to promote Lincoln Green Brewing Company while I am the lead brewer for Magpie Brewery. So, here we go. Absolutely poured. Beautiful, didn't it, that? Really did. Carbonation, lovely. It is a proper golden ale. There you go. Same on there, Roma. Lovely bready notes, bit of spice. Cheers, Raggy. Appreciate that, my mate. And cheers to Lincoln Brew Company. So much maltiness like there. It's a golden ale, what do you expect? You know, it's nothing. It's a lovely, beautiful British golden ale. You know it already. Nothing too much going off. Um, in the mouth, but like I say, hoppage, lovely and spicy, some lovely spicy tones coming through. Very nice and peppery. It's almost got like a bit of a dryness on the back end, like a bit of rye in there. I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, what to tell you, tell you a bit about it. Obviously, it don't disclose what hops are in it, I don't think. Um, but all I know, Raggy, Raggy went down um, to Lincoln Green over in Hawkenhall and he helped him knock up this brew day. Um, and I think he fairly enjoyed it. It was proper in his element um, when he was speaking about it. You know, on one of his videos shortly after. <sighs> Very nice. Proper session at 3.8% indeed. Um, I think he's given a fair few of these out, Raggy has. And... I think he said he bought eight cases of them. <laughs> uh, but I believe the link down to Lincoln Green below as well. And you'll actually see all their beers on their website. Buttermorch. If you haven't tried it, guys, get involved because it's so, so good. It really is. Um, I think these are a pack, I think like £24, I think, um, for Raggies. You know what I mean? They've got their own beer in their shop. I might have to treat myself to a case because that's really nice. Mm. 
lovely maltiness. Really, really is a um, very earthy as well. Bloody good drop. Well done, Mr. Billy, and all the team at Lincoln Cream. I'm sure I'll see you all at the Nottingham Beer Festival, Robin Hood Beer Festival, in about three weeks' time. Billy, top man. Cheers again, my mate. And I hope you enjoyed the beers I gave you. I'll probably drop you a drunken text after smashing your Imperial Stouts back. Cheers, guys.